Okay, can you hear me now? I hope so. Okay, good, good. You know, I'm going to have to do a checklist for streaming because I got multiple. I got the headset. I got the, sense, the Sennheiser mic. Um, but I am struggling now with the seat. <laughs> uh, as you can see, uh roll the mouse button forward uh let's see okay bring the pov forward the fov the field of view and then back off that's all right i am going to try to make that to make this work the seat is a little annoying, um, but I'm trying to make it work. So today's flight is going to be from San Luis to Santa Barbara, and I intend to use Pallet Edge. Um, so with that said... I guess we should get connected to the Pallet Edge network. And today our tail number is a little different than what's in there. 286 Whiskey Foxtrot. I try to use a different tail number for each aircraft. All right. And we should have spun in on their system. I had a flight plan already filed with them, um, but my computer crashed and I had to restart it. So I might ought to just refile the flight plan if I still have it in the queue. If not, then I won't worry about it. Um, Okay, pallet edge. Hey, Dim Dim Dimitri Lee, how's it going? So today I am going to take a quick flight from San Luis to Santa Barbara. And I just refiled my flight plan with pallet edge. And I'm already connected to their network. So let me turn on my, my avionics here and dial in San Louis. Ground is 126. No, 121.6. Yeah, let's use this one. Uh, make it a little larger. 121.6. And tower is 124.3. Oh, I'm sorry, 124.0. Okay, so we got tower and ground in. Oh, man, was it a long day? One of those long days for you? I hope not. I hope it was a great day for you. Come see, Ados is. If I can keep my head perfectly still, I might be able to dial in my Ados. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see if I can find a different way to do this. Um, let's see if I got another button that I can. Yeah, let's use that button. Okay. And ADOS is 126. Okay. And let's 
3004. Oh, open the clothes. Long day. Papa. And I remember you saying that you started your day at like at 4 a.m. Papa. Come. Clouds are not an issue on this flight. Yeah, that's that's early, man. That is too early f to do a, a whole day like that. All right, let's turn this off. Yeah, that is really, really early. 3004. Um, I think when you start in your day, I know that I am just getting mine, getting a, a second nap. I'm just getting into, oh man, 16 hour day. Now to the stream. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> if uh, if you're still streaming by the time I finish, then I'll join in. Um, I don't see this flight is, I, I didn't put it in four flights, so I'm not sure how long it is. Well, yes, I do. I got a, I, got, I did put it here. Um, the get used to using these tools. Okay. And so looks like it is 41 minutes. So and I am going to go to the uh, Gavi the Gaviota VOR and then to this VOR, um, the second one, and learning to use these. This is this is a sectional. Um, what I got on the screen, this is the chart that that I was that I was telling you about earlier. Um, that you are that learning to read this on your own um, could help you stay ahead of the classes, um, if particularly if you know, if you're familiar with this stuff before you start school. Anyway, um, so this is our route here, um, the magenta line. And now that I've got that, uh, that done, I can turn the map off and get back in the cockpit. And we had did most of our pre-flight and we had, I had completed the pre-flight before the computer crashed and the engine start. And I was actually, when the engine, cr when the computer crashed, I was just getting ready to taxi. Okay, but I can't taxi until I contact tower. And I'm using track aura and it's, um, it, not quite agreeing with me. Okay, let me call ground and get some get some permissions here. Let's say I always got to compose what I'm gonna say before I say it, so it always take me an extra minute to get started. Okay, I got Papa, and I'm at ACG. Um, and this is San Luis. San Luis, ground, 
sky hawk uh, disregard. San Louis Ground Era 286 Whiskey Fox Trot is over at ACI Jet with Popple, and we're ready to taxi. Uh, we are going to be departing to the southeast. Taxi via Alpha for runway 29 or 286 Whiskey Fox Trot. Okay, so. I need to um, see, turn some buttons on. Okay, because my fuel pump was not on. And my taxi lights need to come on. This one, this aircraft does not have taxi lights. All right. Clear to the clear. Okay. I don't want a taxi there. I need to watch where I'm going. Uh, can't go over that. That's grass. I've got um, these ortho tiles installed and they changed my texture from green to this white looking color, which make it look a lot like the taxiway. Don't. Okay. Uh oh. I'm getting these long pauses. Hope I don't crash again. And I gotta turn down my heat again. It is so hot in here. Um I think I can mute my mic if I Okay, so here what we can do our run up. Winds will come, so I just want to turn where my prop lasts is not blowing stuff back over the runway. And I'm going to turn my radio down for a minute. Okay. All righty. Okay. Ground check. Break set. I may have the, to undo the track I R because it's not working out for me. Brakes, parking brakes set, prop propeller, prop full forward, throttle go to 200, 2000 I mean. Um, right meg. And all right, let's check our right mag again. Allow it to settle out. Right mag, Mac. Okay, looking good. Left mag, looking good. All right, suction looks good. Or temp is up, or pressure is up, and the alternator is up 
and the um, so we're going to check off this these things and not say a panel let's check that again see so this okay now say the panel looks good a second I'm gonna turn the radio back up in a minute do a prop exercise here all right RPMs came down manifold pressure went up let's do it again suction went down and it's back up and a third time no oil on the windshield all right so fuel pumps comes off I can't get this seat is annoying. <laughs> okay, fear, fear, and fear pressure is holding, and we can power back to to fourteen hundred and throttle is retarded. Okay, and before takeoff. Um, battery master alt is on fuel pump comes back on flight instruments check and they look good we need to set our directional gyro and that's set okay and Mixture is set. Mixture is four for clam out. Prop is four. And got one degree of flaps in. We're going to check trim. Controls. Uh, are free and clear. Uh, See how do you look over? Let me turn off this. Well, let me just move this out the way. Take that out the way. All right. Uh, now I'm, I'm out of the aircraft. Yeah, this track hour. All right thing it's just not working out for me I'm gonna make this flight in it since I started it um, okay so let me turn the radio back up a little bit and get rid of that and we'll switch to tower uh, Oh, this gives me a headache. And Dimitri Lee, you make your track, you make the track RR look so easy. I guess you're not there anymore, but you do. You really make it look easy. Okay. And St. Louis Ground Arrow 286 Whiskey Foxtrot holding at runway 29, ready to depart to the southeast. Runway 29 are for left downwind, clear to take off 286 Whiskey Foxtrot. And I'm still so used to using that hat button to look around that I still 
just out of habit tend to reach for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and use every inch of runway that we can get. Not that we need it. Okay, so lights. Lights. Camera. And action. Glad they didn't tell me to do a rolling takeoff. I had to say unable. Okay, we're going to, I didn't do my brief, but we're going to rotate at 75 and climb out at 79. 75, rotate. And want to hold it right here at 79 till we get to 300 AGL. Gear up. Tap brakes. And this is San Louis. Flaps up. And now we can get our best rate of VX, which is 97 knots. Turn crosswind. Yeah, I guess, I guess using it makes a big difference. Okay, I lost my crosswind attitude, so we'll go ahead and turn downwind. Uh, come on. Yeah, I guess practice is what made perfect. Okay, and we're on downwind. And I didn't put in the navigation in my, let's see, I've got to turn off, let me figure out how to turn off the, the, um, the track, our, okay. Yeah, because that was, I just wasn't able, just not able to see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm still not sure what I'm doing or where I'm at, so let me find my airport. Uh, okay, I think I did a 360 or something. Where the devil's the airport? Ah. Uh, Yeah, um, I'm just having to do a 360 until I find that airport. And then I'll be um, golden. Well, actually, okay, I can use my, okay, I know where I'm at now. I can use my direction, my, my heading book, not my heading book, but my, um, Yeah. Okay. There's the airport. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know where I'm at now. Okay. That was funny. I guess the controller is like, what is this guy doing? I know he want to ask, but he can't. <laughs> well, I guess he could. 
I've had them next to me before. Okay. Now, why is my, what is going on? Okay. Now, what the devil, what gives? <laughs> All right, let's uh let's go back to X camera here and see I don't see anything going on there that should cause my camera to be doing all that shaking. I mean my um my mouse shouldn't be shaking the whole screen like that. Hmm. All right, so let me go up here and let's disable X camera. Okay. Disabling X camera fixed that problem. All right, so my cruising altitude is 6,500, so that's where I want to get up to. Uh, let me set up a, I didn't set stuff up in a flight plan, so let me, ba -ba -ba -ba, push it this button in. Yeah, it's, it would take me quite a while to get used to the, uh, that's not what I want. It would take me quite a while to, to really get used to the, the track hour. In fact, there's probably some tweaks in the software that I need to make. Okay, so let me set my head and bug to 140, to 147. and turn on the AP autopilot in heading mode and let it track for me and Gavioli Gaviovi uh, Guadalupe is 111 And I am think I'm just gonna just fly the VORs. Okay, so just just let that fly and I would level out at 4,500, but I got some mountains up there, but I do need to, uh, I can climb a little faster. Uh, turn there. I keep forgetting these, this electronic trim has that effect. GA, you're back. I played combat sounds, which requires it. Oh, okay. The uh, the, the the track IR.
And, you know, one thing I noticed about this aircraft that can make it hard to control is if you look at the turn coordinator, sometimes it gets off. And when I'm flying without the pilot, the, the, the autopilot, then to keep it centered, I have to keep constant pressure on that, on my rudders. Okay, the next one is Okay, so Gavioli is 111.3 and the Guadalupe is 111.0. So right here, um, I guess you can't see my cursor. Okay, there is a a VOR that says Guadalupe right to the to the left of the magenta line. And that's my first waypoint. And my second waypoint is Gaviota. And that's 113.8. So those are where I'm going. That didn't go away. There we go. And 113.8. Uh, now I just blew through my, my altitude. And Okay, so I'm at altitude. And this aircraft does not have, does not have the, um, uh, the, the electronic trim on the alpha yoke always disengages my autopilot. This aircraft does not have the, the trim. Oh man, look at, look at, I didn't, I didn't lean it out either. So I got some work to do. One thing that my that my flight instructor used to drill in my head, I try to drill in our heads, is always fly the airplane first. Okay, so the way this aircraft is made to trim it, let's see, I should be on autopilot. Yeah, I am, so I can let go of the yoke, and now all I gotta worry about is trimming it. Okay, so I want nose up a little bit, get it back up to altitude. This is the Piper Arrow, okay? And I will show you the outside of it in just a minute. Get it trimmed. And of course, this would be a lot easier in real life. I'm 1.2 miles away from my, from my, my um, waypoint. So I need to get my next one dialed in. 
Um, I should have had it dialed in already. And that was 113.8. This aircraft does have two nav eights, 113.8. Okay. And I've already crossed it just that quick. Okay, so let's punch that in. And Get that, get that centered up so it'll fly directly to that waypoint. If I can chase it, and my trim ain't too bad because I hadn't looked at it in a minute, and I'm not too far off my desired okay so let let that settle out i help it a little bit and for the final leg i am going to fly it fly the GPS to the final uh, leg, so that's going to be direct, ah, direct to K S, uh, you know, some days I do a lot better than, than I'm doing today, um, some days I can manage the cockpit a lot better. I guess that's just the way it is. So I'm going to fly direct to Santa Barbara when that time come. There we go. But right now, I should be flying the the Okay, Dimitri Lee, nice talking to you. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll join you as soon as I can. And this is the Piper Era. Turn my radio, my, my sounds down a little bit. I think they are louder than I want them to be. Thank you. Sorry about that. I, I didn't realize they were that loud. Should be able to hear me somewhat better now. So, and this actually has been my favorite, my all-time favorite aircraft to fly. I have logged probably more hours in this aircraft than I have any other, uh, even the 172. Um, I just like the way it looked. I like the way it handles. I like the, I particularly like the mods, the elf mod. I love the sounds. Um, and I've been flying some of the other aircraft, like the PC-12. I need to back off my throttle a little bit and let it descend back down to altitude so yeah um the piper turbo the piper era is is a great aircraft i'm glad i didn't get flight following um even though the only thing i would have had to do is tune to one more channel one more frequency which I actually know by heart, which I'm going to go ahead and tune to.
But yeah, I um, I think I'm gonna start flying, go back to basics and start flying the 152 a lot more. Um, I got the 152 because if I work on my PPL, then I will um, do more in the 152 than the 172. The 172 is, I think, $20 an hour more expensive. Um, and just to get my PPL, the, you know, I'm okay with the 172. Okay. I didn't do my cruise checklist, so I miss turning off my fuel pump and my landing lights, but better late than never. And I guess I can close this guy down. So I got a little busy in the cockpit there for a minute and and it was just tough trying to manage all the things that I needed to manage to have a successful flight. Um, it's amazing how when I'm watching somebody on the stream, I can see him up, see uh, from the back seat or the passenger seat, do this, do that. But when I'm actually there, you know, you get, can get some tunnel vision. Um, I'm not going to bother to turn on the ADF because I'm not, yeah, I, I should just leave that off. But one thing I do like about the error, uh, the just flight error is that most, a lot of stuff is modeled. I mean, a whole lot of stuff um, that for Coronado, uh, that wouldn't, they don't seem to model. Okay, let me add a little bit of power, see if I can't level off. And I added just a touch too much. Okay, so let it come down and I might be wings level. And add a little bit more. And it might ask oscillate a little bit. And so I really do need to create a checklist for streaming or I'm hoping that in the absence of a checklist, if I do it a few times, then then I start to start to remember the things that I need to do, like adjust my volume, double check to make sure that the mic that I'm talking on is in fact the mic that's 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 live. Um, and and that's about it. You know, just make sure that that. Oh yeah, um, make sure that I got the the chat somewhere where I can interact with you guys once you join. Um, so you know, if I keep it up, then I figure at some point I won't be able to make the mis the excuse that oh well I'm new to this. Okay, so my ground speed is 135 knots. My indicated speed is 121, 22 knots. So I've got, uh, what is that, about a 15 knot tailwind. 
and let's verify that with just flight's flight computer. Okay, it says I got a, uh, my math might have been out of, I got a 12 knot tailwind. Um, 122 plus 10 is 132 plus 5 is 137. Yep, my math was just all off. Um, I guess when I was in school, I skipped a lot of days and did a lot of sleeping in class. Um, cause apparently I didn't learn a lot. <laughs> okay. But this is an opportunity in cruise. It's an opportunity to just enjoy the aircraft, enjoy the scenery. I do have the ortho towels installed. Uh, I think I'm out of the towel area at this point. But I do have the, I did finally figure out how to get my auto gen to populate on top of the towels. Um, I did not realize that there was a folder that I had to move manually. Okay, so I'm getting fairly close to my destination. Um, I'm four miles from the waypoint, the Gaviotto, Gaviata, Gaviata waypoint. Oh, a couple of my uh, friends are on Melvin Leroy. Dimitri Lee. Okay, 1.8 miles to go. All right, so let's bleed out some altitude. Let's get down to to 4.45. I'm, I'm on the um, the seaside of the peaks, so I can do that. And I'm not to descend. I am simply am going to, uh, let me get the, um, the weather. I'm, I'm simply just going to pull the power back and let me get the weather for Santa Barbara. 132.65. All right, so let's turn this back. And I've got the aircraft. Okay, this is class C, so I need to make a call before I enter. So I'm going to do a 360 while I get set up. Um, and this is why I say it's so easy to let the aircraft get in front of you. 
Sierra. Come. Two thousand broken. You probably give me two five. Sierra, okay. All right, so Santa Barbara is one one nine point seven. And my hold here at 4,000 while I get set up to talk to them. And ground is, is what for Santa Barbara? They're just going to have to let, wait and let me dial in ground. You probably won't need ground, but I like to have it ready. Uh, I can't find the ground. I can't find the, can't seem to get for a flight to bring up, to bring up the, um, the info, the airport info. Might be because I let my um, subscription expire. Okay. So, Let's go ahead and give them a call. Um, 13 miles. And 13 miles to the northwest. Uh, to the, yeah. 13 miles to the northwest. Santa Barbara approach, 286 Whiskey Fox Trot. Santa Barbara approach, 286 Whiskey Fox Trot is 14 miles to the Northwest inbound, uh, four stop, and we got Sierra. Three two seven seven two eight six Whiskey Fox truck.
Ah, uh, uh, Roger that. Uh, type out craft. It's pop Piper era. One five right. Proceeding um, to the airport. Two eight six whiskey fox truck. I'm going to park at uh, Atlantic. One five left. I expect one five left. Two two eight six whiskey fox truck. Okay, I got my airport in sight now. We got the airport in sight, 286 Whiskey Fox Truck. 19.7, have a good day, 286 Whiskey Fox Truck. Santa Barbara Tower, 286 Whiskey Fox Trot is inbound, expecting runway 15 left. One five left, clear the land, 286 Whiskey Fox Trot. Okay, so let's do a pre-landing checklist, and let's use glumps. Okay, so we we'll turn our radio down. Okay, so we got gas. Guess uh, we got more in our right tank. A few pumps on. And lights. Landing lights on. Undercarriage. And a little bit fast for undercarriage mixture and prop. Okay, so the only thing. We'll do another glimpse on short final here. Something about coming in to this airport that I always think that that one five is out to us to see. Um, Didn't mean to do that. I want to turn the, the radio down just a little bit more. Okay. You know, I bought two sets of headphones about the little cheap set 
by Logitech and I bought an expensive set and well it won't they weren't expensive they were pr twice the price of the Logitechs and I like the Logitechs the cheaper ones a lot better particularly since I can monitor my voice in the headset okay so I'm on base for my airport here and and I am going to turn to the runway and just make sure I got the correct runway one mile final runway one five right at Kilo Sierra Bravo Alpha no I won't airport not in current route I want one five left Okay, glumps, gas, mixture, uh, gas, lights, undercarriage. Mixture, props. And some flaps. Another degree of flaps. And flaps four. Maintain that center line. Oh, boy, that was hard. And oh, and my. Ooh. I came, I didn't keep up my L speed and I just dropped to the runway like a bus. It's a wonder my gear survived it. Okay. Ground is 0.7. Santa Barbara Tower 2 at 6 Whiskey Fox Trots. Clear the runway. Taxi to Atlantic. To Atlantic via Bravo. Um, 2 at 6 Whiskey Fox Trot. And I think this is Bravo. And he didn't give me ground. Sometimes they'll say, yeah, I'm on Bravo. Sometimes they'll tell me to monitor to taxity and monitor. And I want to be prepared for that. 121.7. So, it's all good. Aircraft is rolling okay. My spine feels okay. And I did not realize that ooh, Santa Barbara Oh, I'm at the back taxi here. I should have got off on Elko. Should have got off on Elko. 
And here is Atlantic. Boy, I just fell out the sky. And that's one thing, you know, I think that's been because I've been flying that Piper. And with that, not Piper, that that um, Cessna. And with that Cessna, I can kill the power and just float in for, it's like flying a cup almost. And this guy here is so heavy that it loses lift. Okay, so we are at our destination and our flight is not over until we leave the aircraft. All right, so we're going to use Slim to shut it down and just for my next flight, I know I jump in and forget to set it back to to VFR, so let me do that now. And Slim is going to be, turn this off, it's going to be switches, all set the beacon. Um, well, S is for switches, L is for lean, I is for ignition, and M is for master. And we are parked, and as soon as I open the door, then you can consider that this flight is over and has been a success. Now, I think this door is modeled. Ah, you know what? <laughs> there is no door on this side of the aircraft. Um, Tell you, I've been flying that Cessna. Okay. And open the door. There we go. And, and that's it. We are done. Let's see. Get out of the aircraft. All right. So, guys, I hope this has been as entertaining to you as it was to me. Um, this flight went by real quickly because for me, flying is, fl flying is a lot of work and it makes the time go by just like that. Okay, until I do the next one, ciao.